Yes, it was a tragic end to an Amber Alert for an 11 year old girl. Rhea Ranch Kumar uh, was found dead inside this Brampton home late last night. Her father is now facing a charge of first degree murder. Now, I do want to show you this. A makeshift memorial here, uh, right at the crime scene, has been growing all day long. Members of this neighborhood have been stopping by with flowers, balloons, cards, and teddy bears. Now, we begin, uh, we continue our team coverage tonight with what we know about the little girl. Life and the events that led to her untimely death. I feel very sad for the girl. Like, that's not right. A child doesn't deserve to whatever happened, doesn't deserve to die. There's a gallery of pictures on Facebook showing Rhea smiling alongside her father, Rupesh Rajkumar. Last night, he was supposed to take her out to celebrate her 11th birthday, but something went very wrong. The mother did come to the 22 division where there were concerns for the well being of her 11 year old daughter. Rhea's mother contacted police after Rupesh, her ex-boyfriend, did not drop off their daughter at the agreed time. She also received alarming communication indicating he intended to hurt himself and their child. We did an extensive investigation in regards to where she could be, where they were, trying to locate the individuals. The Amber Alert did go out. Uh, we did obviously locate uh, Rhea. Unfortunately, she was deceased. and. Through the Amber Alert, however, we were able to locate the father. He was arrested in Aurelia by OPP, and we then took over custody early this morning. Rhea's father was taken down by the OPP on Highway 400 around midnight. Police say the little girl's body was found inside her father's home about an hour before. Even though neighbors tell City News officers were knocking on the door to Rupesh's Brampton house about four hours earlier. Wow, for a child to be taken like that. Yeah, very sad. Very sad. In Mississauga, the flag has been lowered outside Rhea's elementary school. The 11 year old was a grade 5 student here at Meadowvale Village and being told she had a vibrant personality, excelled academically, and brought a special sparkle to the classroom. Today, the entire school community is grieving the loss of this young life. You know, teachers are, 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 are trying really hard just to make it a normal day for the kids. Um, you know, police is in there, uh, people they're not used to seeing in there. Um, so just, you know, kind of lessen the unsubtlety that's going on. You're, you're emotional. You yeah, I mean, that. you know, you, you can't help but give your own kid. Um, you know, what these kids are thinking in there and what the questions are going to be like when we get home tonight. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tough night. And this is an elementary school. What are students being told about what happened to their classmate? They're being delivered the news in a in a age appropriate and sensitive manner uh, with the support of social workers that are in the building today um, and as well as the administrators that are in the building today as well.